Hello nomads and welcome to the sixth episode of Nomadic Journals. Today we have Pavel with us, uh, the programmer behind Planet Nomads Building System and Physics. And thanks for joining us today, Pavel. Hi nomads. Uh, Pavel will talk about the new building system he's been working on based on the feedback from Alpha Nomads. And we'll also cover wheel physics and talk about thrusters and hovercrafts. But first of all, tell us something about yourself, Pavel. I have been I have been programmer in Cambos for four years. It's my first proper job, and I love it. I also like to organize or, organize scouting and role playing events with my friends. And as I heard, you're also finishing your master's degree in computer science. Yeah, this I year? started this year and uh, will finish the next one hopefully. So you've been working on a new system of building based on the feedback from Alpha Nomads. And what started your work on this? In the current version of the game, blocks auto-align and change rotation as you point on the side of another block. Uh, we've noticed in videos and comments that uh, some players are not building as fast as, as, fast as they wanted to. Uh, so I'm reworking that. So how will the new system work? Uh, snapping of blocks will be improved. Uh, you will no longer need to point directly at the side of the block, uh, but the system will automatically detect the side when you point near it. And auto rotation will be either turned off or enabled only when a key is pressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some of the bigger blocks that are already in alpha, they rotate like strangely. I mean, not in the middle as one would expect, but rather around the corner. So, won't this be a problem with the even bigger blocks that are uh, coming? That's the existing system of the pivots in play. Uh, the, this is going to change as well. Uh, every block will have this pivot in the center, so they will be rotating as uh, one would expect. Mm -hmm. Placing these bigger blocks will also work with their whole size and not just one corner of them or anything like that. Right. So all of this is something you are currently working on, the new snapping and rotation system. So now would be a good time for nomads to tell their experiences with auto rotation and snapping, right? Correct. Uh, the changes are based on alpha nomads feedback. Uh, but if you are uh, an alpha nomad with a different opinion and uh, auto rotation and snapping, now is a good time to speak your mind in the comments. You heard him nomads. And besides the building system, you've also created physics for Planet Nomads. And what was the biggest challenge there? Uh, Unity physics helped a lot during the process, but our spherical planets needed uh, much customization too. Uh, all and all, wheel physics was most uh, challenging. It took a big portion of the, of the past year to make it right for Planet Nomads. And so why is that? There are many racing and driving games out there. Why reinvent the wheel? For Planet Nomads, uh, the wheel is something different. In classic games, you have car with four wheels that are in contact with uh, the ground only on the bottom side. Mm -hmm. But in Planet Nomads, uh, people build their own vehicles and they don't have to be cars as we know them. Vehicles can have wheels on the roof, uh, be made for wall climbing and so on. Gotcha. The wheel can be used for other purposes altogether. For that reason, in Planet Nomads, each wheel needs to have its own physics and interact with the object around it. Mm -hmm. I see. So, after the alpha update, physics got pretty stable in most scenarios. So, what are your plans for the future? I still have a formula to introduce drifting into Planet Nomads. Uh, but I have to prioritize my work and the priority number one is the new building system. Mm -hmm. But you may look into that after the building system is done? It's one of the possibilities, uh, but I feel hovercrafts and flying machines will add more fun to planet nomads. So I think these will come before drifting. I'm glad to hear about flying machines and why don't we have them in planet nomads yet and when are they coming? Uh, I don't want to have flyers defined as objects with identical behavior. 
I want thrusters to work similarly as uh, wheels do. Hmm. I want people to be able to define how their fly flyer behaves in the air by the number of thrusters they used and how the how they place them. Which is complicated because. Uh, which is complicated because I have to come with uh, the control system that will work under these circumstances. Uh, wheels are easy, uh, they go forward, backward and they can turn left or right. Mm -hmm. Nothing you couldn't, couldn't control with WSAD. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, with thrusters it's more complicated uh, which thrusters should be controlled when you press a single button. There are many ways people could utilize uh, the thrusters and our system needs to cover them all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what about, I remember the little quadrocopter that we showed in Kickstarter, so how was that controlled? Uh, we used eight keys to control the little copter, uh, rolling, yawing, pitching. It took a lot of practice to be able to keep it uh, in the air for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's why nobody let me do it. <laughs> exactly. Bastards. <laughs> so are the thrusters and other wheels in the making then? Uh, in terms of, in, in term of physics, uh, thrusters are very simple. It's just uh, changing force lock in one direction. Mm -hmm. The control scheme and user experience are the hard parts. Uh, we don't want to have uh, complicated controls similar similar to Kerbal's base program, for mm -hmm. instance. I see, but so do these challenges apply to hovercrafts too? Uh, no, um, hovercrafts should be relatively easy and make appearance in the game sooner, sooner than flyers. And how soon are we talking? Uh, if everything works as expected, hovercrafts will make an appearance in the early access release and thrusters and flyers a little bit after that. Mm, okay. Okay then, yeah, so we will look forward to these features, I'm sure, and we'll keep an eye on them. And thanks again for being with us today, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome Nomads. <laughs> and before we say goodbye, there are two more things uh, we wanted to show you. So the first one is a very early sneak peek to our latest Sandy Engine feature, which is water covering the planet and creating continents. That's all we can say or show at this point, but stay tuned for beautiful scenes and sceneries once we get the water shader up and running. And secondly, when Pavel mentioned wheels and how can they be used for all kinds of purposes, here are some examples of that from Planet Nomads by Nomad Dave and Junkasaur. Want to have your creative ideas featured in the next episode of Nomadic Journals? Then post them on Twitter or our forum and point us to them. So thanks for watching Nomads, thanks for your time and attention. Don't forget to subscribe for the next episode and take care Nomads. Bye. With a fixed vertical axis, axis uh, hovercrafts should be relatively easy and to make appearance in the game sooner than flyers. Okay, and how soon are we talking? Máme tady pěkný podklad. God damn it! To je budík. To je budík, že už mám jít do školy.